The long-running CW sitcom The Flash Season 9 is almost about to conclude, but with it, the Arrowverse as a whole appears to be coming to an end. However, DC seems adamant to conclude its 10-year superhero world on a high note by bringing back a number of fan favorites, including the one who began it all. Stephen Amell's Green Arrow launched the Arrowverse in 2012, and three years ago, in the Crisis on Infinite Earths crossover event, he paid the ultimate price to rescue the multiverse. The DC legend, along with many other returning heroes and villains, is now returning for the Arrowverse victory lap. Fans have been speculating furiously about how the deceased hero will return to this scene up to this point. New set photographs have provided the first glimpse at his comeback while also disproving a well-liked idea about how Amel's Green Arrow will return, even though that is still uncertain. Stephen Amel is dressed and back in action as Green Arrow in the newest set photos from The Flash Season 9 that were published by Candographs. David Ramsey, who plays Spartan and is clad in John Diggle's own vigilante garb, joins Amel in the photos as well. In addition, the Green Arrow looks to be joining forces with Grant Gustin's Flash and Keenan Lonsdale's Wally West, nicknamed Kid Flash, for his Season 9 comeback. A closer look at the superhero duel taking place in front of a historic structure is provided by more set shots. Candographs pointed out the appearance of Sendhill Ramamurthy's Ramsey Rosso, alias Bloodwork, when posting the images on their Patreon page. They stated that Amel was also heard addressing the Bloodwork villain with his well-known You Have Failed This City catchphrase. Amel's appearance as the Green Arrow appears to put an end to rumors that he will be making a comeback as the Spectre, the otherworldly persona he assumed after dying in the Crisis on Infinite Earths crossover storyline. In Crisis on Infinite Earths, the Anti-Monitor decimated the multiverse, and Stephen Amel's Oliver Queen assumed the role of the Spectre to aid the Seven Paragons in resetting the cosmos from scratch. The result was a new beginning that united the majority of the heroes of the Arrowverse, rather than having them dispersed throughout the multiverse as they had been. The interesting thing about that new realm, though, is that Oliver Queen or Green Arrow did not appear there since he had not carved out a place for himself in the one he had contributed to creating. The difficult issue that remains is how exactly Amel's character has returned for the Flash Season 9's major crossover. Many people assumed that based on how he last looked that he would be playing the role of the Spectre, but it's obvious that Amel is dressed as the Green Arrow in these pictures, and he's even accompanied by his old best buddy John Diggle, who just turned down a Green Lantern ring. Bloodwork is presently flying through the air after the events of the Arrowverse set Earth Prime comic book storyline from last summer. That might rule out time travel as a manner of Green Arrow's return because it would appear to suggest that the confrontation with him will take place in the present. Oliver Queen did once exist on the new Earth Prime, as Arrow Season 8 had established, but no remains were ever discovered. Oliver's friends and family had a funeral, and there was a gravestone with a mound of soil to indicate a coffin had been buried, albeit it is uncertain if that coffin was full or empty. They may have buried an empty casket to symbolize his absence following the crisis, but they are unsure of his whereabouts. The Flash Season 9 could eventually provide the answers to those problems, possibly with him being transported from the past into the present to help Team Flash. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel. See you soon.